back, guys. Thanks. Put the dildo me. down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Vibe Nation. This is Mike here, and this is... Well, you already know who that is. <laughs> I'm not even going to give you a proper introduction after you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's hard to follow up after that. So let's let's just try and get straight into the video. Um, it's called Best of Ford Man Compil Compilations. I think we should do at least about two two or three vo uh, Florida Man videos. I like the I I'm not sure about the videos, but I know that the headlines are always the funniest ones. The state is that bad when you know that. Um, what's that? What's that news? What's that news station at, that um Florida that Tampa Bay has? I forget what it is. Um, Clyshawn not no Bay News Nine. They have their own little segment that says only in Florida. You know it's bad when they have a segment that just says only in Florida. There's just, there's no way around that. So, yeah. We're, we're about to watch Best of Florida Man Compilation 1. So, let's go ahead and get this in. In 3, 2, Wait, is somebody chasing him? Yeah, is that a fucking tractor? He, not a track. I. I think it's a tractor. I don't know what to call this thing. Neither do I. What was he thinking? A knucklehead breaks into an alligator and crocodile farm, climbs over the fence, and leaps into a lagoon. Surveillance video shows him trying to get out of the lagoon, but he doesn't make it in time. He's attacked by a beast with razor teeth. After finally scrambling out of the water, he teeters along a wall inside the exhibit. On the other side, 210 giant alligators. After his four-hour-long escapade, he's spotted outside the park. A neighbor calls 911. What a fucking idiot. Pause. Do <laughs> like... Nigga, what? <laughs> like, what? Like, uh, why would you do such a thing, man? Well, what did, you were thinking was... They did say he was drunk. I'm just trying to figure out how did you... Maybe he just wanted to go for a swim. <laughs> That's horrid. Like, what the what the hell? Like, you... You... Oh. Jesus. My God. How are you this moronic? Jesus. <laughs> okay, this is a, uh, it looks like a lawnmower shop. Well, gave it away. Mid acting, well, fishy. Kraut says Dixon distracted her while Garcia Jr. worked to net several electric blue Acaras and Ram Cichlids. They range from $18 to $20 each. Just random questions, anything to keep me occupied. Watch as Garcia Jr. grabs several fish from the first tank. When Kraut wasn't looking, detectives say he then snags several more fish from another tank. With nowhere else to stash the bag, he shoved the fish down his pants. Here it is again in slow motion. Now, I'm not going to condone stealing fish, but $20 a fish, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot for a fish. I mean, I respect your money-saving efforts, but just get cheaper fish. That That's just the easiest. And those fish ain't even that good looking either. Like, I understand stealing a fish that's, like, actually fucking good looking, but, I mean... Why would you steal a fish? There's like a thousand other pets you could steal, but a fucking fish? Well, it's probably the smallest that he can actually fit in there. There's not a lot of uh, space in his pants, probably. There's probably a lot of space in his pants, actually. I mean, if the in fact he's fit. How much on the bed? He, yeah, how much on the bed? He uh, he drives a lifted truck that just screams, "I'm compensating for something." <laughs> yeah, he's probably he's probably the kind of guy that that probably shoots up steroids and goes to the gym. He he looks like he works out his torso more than his arms. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> what the heck? Of course he's wearing Jordans. What thug goes ahead and steals fish? I like how he's caught. So how are you going to fight with these fish in your pants, bro? I like how the fucking, how, how this, what, Walker owner is like, bro, tell me how you're, 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 you're overweight like that, oh, but yet. Oh, oh, look, Sarasota County. We're running up the backside here. Robbie Armstrong's security camera caught the Saturday sneak attack. The squirrel ran behind me and jumped on my side, went down my shoulder and got on my elbow and just chomped on me. The attack lasted only seconds, but the little guy did a number on Robbie's arm and elbow. It just clawed me up all over here and bit me here and here. His teeth, that's where he came up here and bit me there, and I just grabbed him and threw him on the ground. Little you asshole. can't mess this shit up, man. What do you got, a flashlight? Yeah. What is it, it the clown having an, or, uh, an orgy down there? Like, what's going on? Nah. This this that that dude's the type of motherfucker to believe that the Ninja Turtles are down there. It the clowns having an orgy with you know, team in, uh, team NT. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> My fucking child, that you cunt. I'm not doing anything. It, it, it's obvious this is what it sounds like. Accept it. No, it sounds <clears throat> like he's taking it from behind, but they didn't use enough lube. He likes it rough. <laughs> Accept it. <laughs> Shit. Where'd you go in? Huh? Where'd you go in? On the other side. Oh, so he's fucking him sideways. Okay. Well. <laughs> Bro, we were getting demonetized so quick with one collab. Well, I'm not getting paid, so. <laughs> I mean, true, true. I mean, but. Really think about it. Oh, that's fine. I'll just go ahead and just unlist these videos. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and um private these videos. They'll never know. And I'll fucking, hey, I'll download them and upload them on my channel. <laughs> you might, and for you, it would probably be better if you just did like a separate channel of just un, for just uncut videos. That's not the only thing that's uncut. Whenever we're uh, hanging out, ayo. <laughs> nobody needs to, nobody needs to know that uh, about your foreskin, bro. <laughs> I wasn't talking about the foreskin. I was talking about how uh, about the uh, the baking soda. I mean, the kids are not going to get that joke, but the adults will. Yeah, they'll get it. I mean, well, how else are we supposed to bake the cake? Mm, yeah, by the four hundred dollar cake. Yeah, all taxes included. On what yep. side? In With a brick shape. In the retention pond over there? Yep. Looking for your cat? Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, you got yourself in a fucked up position, man. I don't... Are you hiding from somebody? Nope. So what the fuck are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> it said, read my mind. Took the words right out of my mouth. Straight up. What the fuck are you doing in there? Like... I'm just, he's a Florida man. Does he need a reason? No, he really doesn't. He doesn't really need a reason. Just know that he's there. He That's his dwelling. That's his, ha that's his domicile. And he will not be harassed. Oh, you breaking back, quoting little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, me. What the fuck? <laughs> Did he just say Dream Gray? No, he's singing a basic grace in the sewer. <laughs> you hear him say, like, Amazing Grace. Not the time, bro. <laughs> you're just gonna be lucky that no that no sewer gators are down there. How the fuck did that even get started? I don't know. I really I really don't know. I well, you mean the sewer gators, or you mean the the music this guy's trying to sing? Yeah, sewer gator. Well, there was a video of a guy that went into his storm drain, and he looked, and there was literally a gator in there. A big dude. 
And to tell you the truth, I, as a kid, I was terrified of that that aspect. And then when I got older, I thought, ah, oh, that's just probably something that people, you know, say to scare kids. Until I saw that video, and I was like, well, shit, it's real. Look at this shit. This is fucking nuts. This is some shit straight out of fucking horror movie, man. Hey, you better be lucky that that's not hit the clown down there, bro. We all float down there. Not up here. Oh, shit. Yeah, dog, you in the fucking gutter, man. First, the family thought that the sound of okay. thunder is waking them up. But no, it was frozen sausage hitting their house. Now, why was frozen sausage hitting their roof in Boca Raton, Florida? The Adair family says they found like 15 pounds worth of it on their roof in the yard, and nobody can tell them how it got there. They do have a few theories. I thought possibly it was it had fallen from a plane. I thought possibly it was something to do with the drug deal or something. Possibly uh, what? North Koreans with a sausage <laughs> missile or something. Oh, oh, now our imagination is getting away with us. But how do you explain? You think? <laughs> One, she said it could have fallen from a plane. That's not too far off. It could have. Two, it could have been from, a, from the drug. She didn't say... Oh, it could have been. She didn't say it could have been from a drug deal. She said it could have been the drug deal. But we just breezed over that, like as if that it never, like, as if she never said it. I'm telling you, man, these people are getting bold. Oh, uh, speaking of sausage. God, if you're gonna go ahead and say inflate something sexual in here, <laughs> I had I had a sausage gumbo the other night. Fucking delicious. I never had gumbo before. Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm we we have we're we are island folk over here. We eat island food, not not New Orleans shit. Okay, even though sometimes when I do get the chance to try New Orleans, some do New Orleans de delicacies, it's freaking delicious. But I haven't had gumbo yet. Plane. There's frozen meat hitting the roof. The family said they contacted the meat company listed on the wrappers. Still, they didn't have any answer for them. Bailing, still got a passenger in the vehicle. South and east of you. Oh. Um, actually, the large group of cows is following her for a good visual. Uh, looks like they may attack her. Or well, alert. I'm going to give you my flashlight. You can tell me where to go from here. Keep going southeast. Uh, she's uh, pretty far into the field now. Um, if you see the large group of cows, they're they're literally following her and uh, chasing her. Come down, prison or something. Zycor, Zycor, you go ahead and you comment on this. I, I, I. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, oh god! <laughs> when you fuck around and try to tip cattle, but that shit, but uh, <laughs> the herd ain't having it. <laughs> like, I don't understand why is the cows following the, the? She was nowhere near the cows, and they're following her. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> That's just holy shit. <laughs> all right, Larry, we got her lit up. Is that a bull? Oh, she's gonna get a different kind of uh, Taylor, of uh, pounding if that's a bull. Go east, don't sell her. There's a drive they stop. To the south, there might help. They stop and. Wild video gone viral. See this Florida team. That's freaking hilarious. They caught her at the other end of the bush. Uh, they caught her at the other side of the bush. That's that's hilarious. Caught on tape. Teen jumps on shark's back. He says it's like. I mean. Well, he's. You only live once. Yolo. <laughs> the guy said it says like a, it's like an adrenaline rush. 
What the fuck? Like, huh? <laughs> Hitching a ride on the back of a 30 foot whale shark. Oh, it's, it's a whale shark. Any controversy? ABC's Matt Gutman has a story. Ready? To Chris Grace, it looked like the world's biggest boogie board. I decided that, you know what, I should maybe go try and swim with them because it, I might not be able to do it ever again. A whale shark, the world's biggest fish, as big as a school bus, was cruising off the Gulf Coast of Florida when a 19-year-old and his family spotted it. It was almost like an adrenaline rush. Whale sharks are considered the gentle giants of the sea. But Craze knew it was time to let go. He began to descend, and if, if something doesn't want you on it, you might as well just let it go. The stunt lasted just nine seconds. Awesome! I see him. I see you like a gator. He's bold. I see you like a gator. That's a mad lad right there. What in the world? What the hell? Hey, man. Y'all got beer still? Y'all got beer still? Y'all ain't out, are y'all? Is he taking the last bit of beer? Are you taking the last bit? <laughs> this has to be set up. This is so wrong. <laughs> this is so wrong. You go, wait, uh huh? <laughs> One question Why does he have that? Why does he have that gator? Um, people will sometimes buy gators as pets. And they raise them as uh, until they get too big, then they then they release them. But the gator is no longer afraid of humans, and we end up getting yeah. But that that gator probably is a pet of his. Such an unusual pet. It's so so unusual. I would never. Such an unusual state we live in. True. It's just that I would never think about having a pet a pet gator. I mean, the wildest the pet I've ever thought about owning would be a fucking snake, and that's, yeah, and, um, you know, like a corn snake, not something that'll constrict around me in my sleep, you know? The, well, yeah, um, the, the wildest pet I ever thought about having was a fox. That was it. Oh. Bro, it takes a, uh, fuck. Let me just stop staying up late gaming. Um, anyway. It takes a lot of effort to actually care for a fox kit, and but they can be very, very beautiful animals. Yeah, of course. But I heard the urine smells bad, though. Like, really bad. Like, it's, like if it gets on you, you're stained. You have to, like, throw away your clothes bad. They actually use that as repellent for other, can uh, other animals. Followed by this scramble Why back to a skiff again? and later a boatload of scrutiny. When people spend a lot of time and, and a lot of pressure on a fish, it uh, takes away that slime covering and it potentially has negative health impacts for the fish. These types of interactions between man and sea creature have increased lately, raising questions about how much humans should be allowed to encroach. The aptly named William Waterman was arrested last February after police spotted the photos he posted on Facebook. So wait a minute. He was arrested for mm -hmm. hugging for for hugging a manatee? No, wait, that's a different dude. That was a different dude. But a dude was hugging a manatee, he got arrested for that. But taking off the slime covering, bro, he's in the water. He'll get more. You're acting like as if that he didn't get that while he was in the water already. I mean, it, 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 oh my God. Oh. Oh God, no, no. Oh, shotgun. Oh, no. Bro, oh, shotgun barrel knows how to ask. Bro, what the fuck is this dude on? Probably on crack. Is that a phone book? man who grabbed these dogs, he grabbed them right out of their cribs and shoved them in his pants. And it was all caught on one of the 14 surveillance... Wasn't that what I said with the fish guy? Mm-hmm. I mean... It de let's just see how this happened. Let's cameras that are in the store. Take a look at this guy. He grabs an $800 pug from its crib and then shoves the dog down his pants. Damn it, he's black. Wow, oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, take an L. 
You're part black too, so what do you mean? You take- I'm Puerto Rican, the fuck do you mean? <laughs> you take half an L. I'm giving you half an L. If you if you if you're Puerto Rican, you have the right to say you are you have the you have the um the you have the right to see the N-word because technically you technically do have a uh, a pass. You get an L too. We're spreading the blame. We're not just taking this alone. Until we see a lot, until we see a Puerto Rican stealing pets by putting them down in our pants, I'm not taking an L. Then I revoked your nigga card. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't <laughs> come on. Alright, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm half god anyway, the fuck. <laughs> I revoked your god card now. You think you can go ahead and, and not take blame for this? Wait a minute, this is in Orlando. Oh well, it's fine. He's like, well, Orlando always on that jack shittery. He then walks outside, puts the dog in his car, comes back in, and does the same thing here. This time, shoving a $750 dachshund in his pants. Eddie Rosario says the thief walked in with what looked like a decent family. You got any questions? And they say no. They're just looking at dogs. He says the thief was with this man, this woman, and a toddler. They used the kid to steal the dog. I mean, you come in here to steal a dog with a kid, that's insane. The thing is, I would never allow a, a, a puppy to be near my genital area at all. Oh, that's, that's rich. That's rich. What? Bro. How? Bro, <laughs> this motherfucker is brazen, man. He took the whole store practically. Oh, wait, all of that is oil. All that's oil, bro. Like, my God. Like, I thought his pants were just baggy. No, he shoved all that. And what's hilarious is that he got stopped by a, by a cop. That's a cop. <laughs> that's why I was oh, like, my. that's why I was like, why he came back in, and I saw this dude, and when I saw his holster, I was like, oh shit! <laughs> I was, I don't know if that's a detective or not, but dude, that is hilarious. Karma's a bitch, ain't it? It was quick. Hey, but you, you, uh, you know what's fucked up is that a. Hey. Nah, I'm not gonna say it, but pretty sure you can guess what I, what I, what I was about to say. No. Anyway, moving on. Uh, He's still going. Still going. How much? How many cars does this bitch have? Probably a lot. The cop dead ass pulls out a fucking something to drink. Like I'm still waiting. Largo police say a man disguised as a woman walks into a pet shop to steal a four thousand dollar French bulldog. Now I'm now I am not judging, but. He does look good as a woman. I'm not even going to lie about that. He does look good as a woman. He could pass for a woman really easy. I bet he does that every day, every time there's a girl's night. Maybe. I don't fucking... How the fuck did he realize it was a man, though? That's what I'm going to know. Probably. He, 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 I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he let it slip. Maybe maybe they, they, they noticed a the bulge and they said, oh, wait a minute. No, this isn't what I... This isn't who I thought you were. Probably saw the this isn't, hey, hey, hey! This isn't what I paid for. <laughs> anytime you go, anytime you go to fucking Thailand or <laughs> or Taiwan and, and try to and try to get you a night walker. That's, that's, that's well, funny. I mean, I already paid, so <laughs> that's messed up. That's messed up. Like, but why? Like, but wait. Well, what's with all these as animal? What's with all the animal stealing? All Tiny and little and cute. You don't think uh, giant man dressed as a female stealing credit card information and buying puppies? Largo police have identified the man in the video as Bryant Farfan. Detectives recognize him because of his criminal record. Police say Farfan used a stolen credit card and stolen driver's license to fraudulently purchase the puppy. The theft happened last month at All About Puppies on Almerton Road in Largo. Where is she? I need my shit. 
Oh my god. I'm having a hard time wondering whether or not this man actually has no arms or not. That's the only thing that I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to understand. But if he doesn't that well, let's just say this. If he does have arms and he just he's just refusing to take them out of his out of his shirt, he would he would not have any problems being armless if he can just raise his leg raise himself up without no help or support. That, I don't know why, but that, that was impressive. That was impressive. And that was the whole video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Vibe Nation and Zycord of God. And I will see you guys, well, we will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Twisms. <laughs>